Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is about crow brakes or butterfly brakes. They're used on gliders and I had a subscriber ask me how to set up or program them in OpenTX uh, in your Jumper T16. So I've never flown that type of glider with which has got that type of setup. So I researched what you needed to do and then I solved the problem and this video is about the mixes you need to use. Now I'm going to uh, show you on the radio and show you within Companion as well. And also I've got a rig I set up so that I can show you in operation because I don't have a glider that's set up this way. So I made a rig so that you can see the um, mixes in action. So let's switch over to the rig and I'll show you how it works. This is the rig I set up so I could show you the crow brake stroke butterfly brakes in action. And I've got my radio so you can see we've got normal aileron operation, flaps on a three position switch. Then on a rotary switch, now I'm going to do this quickly and you'll see what happens. We get the flap go down, aileron come up. I'm not sure of the amount of down flap and up aileron you need. So um, you would need to look this up, but I'm sure someone who knows gliders but just needs to know the mix would know how to do that. So I'm now going to do this slowly. So the first half of my switch, you'll see the flaps just go down until I get to the midpoint. Then the flaps carry on moving down, but now halfway through the cycle of the switch, the ailerons come up. So that's crow brakes. There we go, explained. And of course your ailerons still work when you're on full uh, full brake so that you can still control the aircraft as it comes in. And there we go. Right, let's go to the T16. Okay, we're going to pick, click the model button. And I'm going to work through the screens as we go across. Normally I'll go and put the GVs in first, the global variables, but I'm just going to work my way through the screens. So the inputs will be as standard. Then we come to the mixing where all the hard work is done. Now the first mix we're going to have to add is this line here, which will make the ailerons go up at the halfway point of the rotary switch. So let me actually, I'm going to go through all of them and then go in and look at each, each of the settings. We then have to put a line in on the second aileron servo, which in my case is channel five, and put exactly the same in, but you can see that it's minus. We're gonna come back to the detailed settings in a second. Channel six is the flaps, one servo, and then channel seven is the flaps for the next servo. So I'm not gonna go through the flap settings. I've got a video for that, and that's these three settings here for the flaps. And again, one, two, three are the flaps which are on this. You can see them changing. So we're not going to go through those because I have a video on that subject. But let's now go through each of the entries. So on the aileron, the one servo, we have to change the first line of the servo. And all we need to do is in my case, now this depends on the orientation of your servos, of course. You may have to be a plus or a minus. We have to change the weight to minus 50 on that aileron. Then we add a line in, and in that line, we're gonna link it to switch, rotary switch up here, zero, uh, uh, the S1, sorry. We then have to pick up the weight, GV3, which comes from our global variables. Offset has to be zero, trim will stay default. And in the curve, we have to put this function, which is X is smaller than zero. And that will make the switch, the ailerons only go up when this switch here is rotated to the center point. You can see that they start to go just before. If you watch the bottom of the screen, you'll see they come up and they start to go up. Okay, so that's that function. Okay, then we have to have a second aileron line, which is our second servo. And that is set up exactly, and in my case, it had to be minus 50 as well, but let's just go in, beg your pardon, let's just go in there. If I 
push buttons quickly and edit. You'll see the only difference in here is we have to have minus 50 weights, zero offset and zero diff. Then we go to the line that is controlled by switch uh, S1. So, oops, I keep pushing the button incorrectly. Oops, there you go. Edit. In here, we have to say the switch, the source is this switch. The weight is minus this time, GV3, global variable three, offset zero. And again, in the function, we have to put X is smaller than zero. Okay, dokey. Now we are on to the flaps. And as I said earlier, these three settings are, I've got a video that shows you how to set up flaps, but we need to add another line in. And this is where we have to put more settings in, change more settings. The source, again, is this switch here, S1, or you can change whichever you like. We have to do a weight of uh, minus GV2, an offset of plus GV2, and the differential has to be minus 50%. Okay, then we go down to the second servo that controls the second um, flap. And in here, we have the opposite entries. So this is gonna be the rotary switch. The weight is GV2 plus, the offset is minus GV2, and the differential is 50%, plus 50%. Now that's all the settings you need to put up in the mixes. It's quite a few, but that's that's how, how you will do this. Then we need to go, the next thing we need to put in are the global variables. So the global variable, and again, it's on variable zero, which is the first line. I've put 40, 70, and 30. The first two GV numbers, one and two, are for the flaps. And the GV3, it's at 30%, is the aileron going up. And that's everything. It wasn't very good. Now let's go and show you the settings in OpenTX Companion. Let's switch back over to my computer. Roddy ho, let's go and open my latest backup. And we're going to go to YouTube 6 model. We're not going to go through the flight modes because I've already covered those in videos. So we're going to go to the inputs, which will be standard. They are just as they came up when you set the model up. Then we go to mixes. Okay, and as I showed you on the radio, we're going to go through the, let's do the ailerons first. We have to change the weight on the first line to minus 50%. The offset is zero, the GV value is zero, and everything is fairly standard there. Now that is the same for the first line of the second aileron. It's minus 50 and zero offset, uh, the, the diff is zero. But please remember that that may change depending on the way your servos are in, installed in your model. Okay, then we can go to the second line. Now this is where the um, switch, it, it's operated by the rotary switch. So in there, we can see the source is S1. The weight is GV3. That was the 30% that I, I showed you on the radio. Uh, and then the offset is zero. And then the bit we have to change is the curve. And we have to change it to function. And in there, put X is smaller than zero. Then that's everything. The same with line two of the second servo, we've got uh, switch S1. We've got the weight at minus GV3, offset zero, and the curve has to be function, X is smaller than zero. Okay, okay, that's the ailerons covered. Then flaps, as I said before, I'm not gonna go through the flaps, I've got a video for that, but we're gonna go to the line that controls the flaps on the rotary switch S1. So if we double click that, in here we need to put the source S1, the weight has to be minus GV2. The offset has to be plus GV2. Then the differential has to be minus 50. And then you're good to go. And then the you can see from here that they're, because of the way the orientation of the servos in the wing has been, you know, how I've, well, how I've set it up on the rig, 
you can see it's it's different because it's now a plus GB2. But let's have a look at it. So we go in there, switch S1. The weight is GV2 plus. The offset is minus GV2. And the diff is 50%. Okay. Then the next thing we don't need to put anything on. Outputs, curves or logical switches. Um, in here we would have to go to the flight modes uh, because in companion we have to put the GV values in differently. We don't, we have, don't have a window like we have on the radio itself. So we go down to GVAR1, we put 40, and then the next line 70, and the third line 30. The first two are the flat settings. So the first switch will go down 30%, next one will go 70, and then the, the GVAR3 is the amount of aileron going up when you have the crow brakes. Now, as I said earlier, I don't know exactly what percentage you, you would do this because I've never actually put it in practice. So this video is just to show you how to set the uh, mixes up so it will do what you want it to do. You can then, that's the brilliantness of the global variables, it's so quick on your radio to quickly go to the global variable and when you're out in the field and change it. You haven't got to go into all the mixes and change it everywhere. You just go into the, the global variables and change them and off you go. Then you can straight away go back to fly and see how those settings affect your play. Okay, and there we go. There's everything done on Companion. I hope you found this video both informative and interesting. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.